hey, do you remember these or these things right here? Of course you do. And they were once amazing, but now they just sit in the bottom of a drawer. Well, that's because these were called fads. They were once really popular, and now no one cares. And you can't believe you spent $700 on them. So, when I was in second grade, in 1980, the big hot item that year, the big thing that came onto the stage, the hot new fad was, are you ready for it? Stickers! Yeah, stickers. I know we have stickers today, and stickers are still fun to put on things, and people collect stickers, but stickers were huge in the early 80s. Like, they were totally awesome, dude. There were all kinds of stickers. You had Smurfs, Ghostbusters, Star Wars, this thing, Hong Kong Fooey, Garfield, Pink Panther, Strawberry Shortcake, Popeye, Mr. T, Aunt B, My Pet Monster, Hello Kitty, Shirt Tails, and many, many more. Not only did they have lots of different kinds of characters, but there's even different types of stickers. You know, you had like your basic shapes, puffy stickers, you had shiny metallic stickers, you even had stickers that if you kind of turn them ever so slightly, they look like they animated. But the best, the absolute best sticker there was, was the smelly sticker. It was so awesome when your teacher handed you back a paper and on that paper was a smelly sticker. <laughs> Ah, bubblegum, my fave. Well, one of my favorites. My other faves were mint, cinnamon, banana, lemon, and gasoline. Okay, just kidding. They didn't have gasoline, but I do like that smell. And it's funny. Some people love that smell, and some people absolutely hate it. Hey, comment below if you like the smell of gasoline. I think this is funny, but they also made bad-smelling smelly stickers. That's right. Ones like fresh-cut grass, pickles, rubber tire, garbage, and skunk. Skunk was pretty bad, but I think the worst, in my opinion, was buttered popcorn. I know buttered popcorn wasn't meant to smell bad, but to me, ugh, that smells disgusting. So just like most fads, people took it just a little bit too far. In fact, they had entire stores dedicated to selling nothing but stickers. So what do you do with all these stickers? Well, you make a sticker book, of course. And what's a sticker book? You take a photo album and you fill it with, that's right, stickers. So every week, new kids were bringing in their photo albums just chock full of brightly colored adhesive paper. And where was the best place for a kid to show off their sticker books? Well, show and tell, of course, the TED Talk of elementary school. So I had to get in on this sticker thing. I begged my mom to take me to the sticker store where I was going to spend a whole $3 on stickers. Now, you know how old people say, back in my day, $3 could buy you a bunch of stuff. Well, in 1980, $3 still couldn't buy you very much. I think I ended up with like a whole two pack of stickers. My parents, they were a little on the cheap side. I mean, we bought cereal by the bag, by the bag. My mom found this old photo album we weren't using and so it was time for me to get to work making the ultimate sticker album. And 15 seconds later, I used all my stickers and filled up about a page and a half. And I still had 30 more pages to go. So I was going to have to be very resourceful and collect every sticker I could to complete my amazing sticker book. So began my quest for every sticker I could find. I removed stickers from homework papers, from my bike, from my desk, I found a pack of shiny star stickers and created a page or two with those. My grandma had given me some Property of Steve stickers. Those went into the book. We had a collection of Mr. Yuck stickers. These were stickers you put on poisonous items around the house to keep kids from, you know, tasting them or trying them. <laughs> Anyways, those also went into the sticker book. Anywhere I could find a sticker, I grabbed it and put it into the book. I tracked down every sticker I could get my grubby kid hands on until I completed my masterpiece, a sticker book unlike any other book ever created. It was time for show and tell. It was the day of show and tell, and three students have already presented their sticker books. I wait patiently as the students show and present their books full of neatly themed pages, clearly organized with well-intentioned design. And I guess if you're into that kind of thing, then these books were pretty good but nothing quite like mine. The teacher calls on me to present my book, and I can hear it in her voice, that sound of, oh great, 
Yet another sticker book I have to sit through. I stood before the class and started turning the pages. At first, there was a polite silence, but then it was followed by an uncomfortable puzzlement. But quickly that was replaced when one girl blurted out, that's a sticker from a banana. The class erupted into laughter. It was my page of produce stickers. There were stickers from bananas, apples, oranges, but with every page came more and more laughter. There was my page of poorly removed homework stickers. The two pages of shiny stars arranged into these patterns. Oh, and my two pages of price tags and warning labels. Of course, the Mr. Yuck page got a lot of laughs. Was I hurt by all the laughter? Of course, I was shocked. This was not the reaction I expected. So let me tell you kids today, if you're faced with something like this, something unexpected, where people are laughing at something you created, there's two ways you can take it. One, you can be offended, you can be hurt, you can want to run, and those feelings were there, believe me, I, I felt that way. Or you can own it, you can laugh along with them, you can laugh at yourself, and you can enjoy the fact that you were able to make an entire classroom laugh at something as boring and mundane as a sticker book. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, I have two other videos I know you're going to love. So make sure to watch those. And below, you'll see my how to draw books. If you're a doodler like me and you love drawing, check those out. It'll help support the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.